Nothing beats the fresh air and lush surroundings of the Lab Garden. <gasps> Ooh, over here. Look at this peculiar bug. That's perfect to identify for our research project. It's called a London fly. Oh, fascinating. Wow, Tech. Oh, oh, it stinks of cheesy feet. The app isn't working, Tech. Go oh, giggle bits. Our internet may be down. We better tell Katie. She'll know what to do. Oh, hi, both. Have you identified all the garden wildlife already? That was really fast. Not yet, Katie. We had a technical hiccup. We tried to scan an enormous plant right at the bottom of the garden, but the app stopped working. Ah, I think I know what's gone wrong. Ava, try using the app to identify this moth. It worked! And look! We're connected to the internet again. Oh, jolly good. So... Why didn't it work when we were at the end of the garden? Ah, well, the internet was working, but you'd lost your Wi-Fi connection. Uh -huh. I'm very confused. What's Wi-Fi? And how did we lose it? Well, Wi-Fi is a wireless internet connection. It lets our tech gadgets access the internet without being physically connected by a cable. Lina, that sounds complicated. The technology is very clever, and many of us use it every single day without even realising it. And that's thanks to smart people like engineers, software developers and technicians who create it for us. Things like your tablet, phone, TV and laptop often use Wi-Fi to get online. Actually, let's give Katie from Quickline a call. She's a Wi-Fi whiz, so can tell us all about it. Uh. Hi guys, it's nice to see you all. Hello. Hi Katie, great name by the way. I thought you'd be just the person to help explain how Wi-Fi technology works. Absolutely. Wi-Fi is a wireless internet connection used in home, schools and workplaces. Special internet cables that go overhead or go underground go into the building. These internet cables plug into a small box called a Wi-Fi router. The Wi-Fi router then sends out radio waves which let your wireless devices connect to the internet. Places like coffee shops, restaurants and libraries sometimes have these Wi-Fi routers too. This is because Wi-Fi allows lots of devices to use the internet at the same time as we don't need to plug our tech gadgets into the router. So Ava, you could be researching insects. I could be shopping online for new science equipment and text you could be playing an online game all at the same time. But why did it start working while we were in the garden? The further you are from the router, the weaker the signal. Eventually, when you move too far away from it, the radio waves won't reach you. So, you can't use them to access the internet. Ah, the big plant at the end of the garden is too far away from the router. So we lost our Wi-Fi connection. <laughs> that explains it. You've got it. I hope that helps. Bye for now. Yes, yes. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Hmm. We're still in a pickle. How can we use the app to find out what the big plant is without Wi-Fi? Let's head back outside. I have an idea. Now. Try using the app on your tablet again, Ava. Oh, look! It's connected to the internet. But it says 4G. What does that mean, Kata? Well, 4G or 5G is another way of connecting devices like phones to the internet when we're not near a router. I'll tell you more about that another day. Yes, there's no time to waste. 
Let's get back to our research and find out what this mysterious plant is once and for all. Hmm. It appears to be a Techno Citrus Rex. And it doesn't like... Robot dogs! Ah! <laughs> uh, on second thoughts, maybe I prefer being inside. Ah. Oh, Tex. Ah. <laughs> <laughs>